a while ago, I made a video on how to put a hole on a curved surface in FreeCAD. And in that video, I showed how to do it using a datum plane. But then I got a couple of emails saying that you can do the same thing without using a datum plane and it's probably easier. Well, I'm not really sure that it's easier, but in this video, I'm going to revisit the topic of how to put a hole on a curved surface in FreeCAD, but this time I'm going to show you how to do it without using a datum plane. So if you want to know how to do this, stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, so welcome back. So let's go to FreeCAD and um, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is gonna be a very quick video. Uh, so uh, let's open up FreeCAD and um, let's uh, just uh, start a new project. And by the way, this is the newest version of FreeCAD, version uh, 0 0.21. And um, we're gonna start by uh, just creating a new project and a new body and a new sketch. And we're gonna put the sketch on the X, Y plane, like so. All right, so, uh, so far so good. So I'm just gonna make a cylinder and my cylinder is gonna be 80 millimeters uh, in diameter and uh, 80 millimeters uh, tall. So let's just go to a circle and we'll put the circle at the center here. We'll use the, uh, the home point here, the, the, the zero point here as the uh, place where we're going to put the circle. And then we're going to make the circle uh, 80 millimeters in diameter. So 80 millimeters. And uh, we're going to uh, constrain it. So let's constrain it to the uh, home point here. And we're going to just use this uh, constraint to coincident option. Now we have a constrained sketch. So we're gonna close it off and we're gonna pad it uh, 80 millimeters, like so. And now we have a cylinder. And uh, what we wanna do is uh, put a hole right here on the curved surface of the cylinder. And this is, this is a problem because if you try to create a sketch on the curved surface, uh, what you get is an error saying you need a planner face as support for a sketch. And um, this is what I did in the previous vi video. I basically uh, created a planner face like this, and then I used the planner face to create the hole and uh, put it through the cylinder. But you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna cancel this planner face, and I'm going to uh, basically do something else altogether, which is I'm not going to um, use the, any of the faces on the cylinder. I am simply going to create a new sketch and I'm going to create the sketch on the XZ plane because that's the plane that I want to put the hole on. So I'm just going to click on the XZ plane like so and I'm going to um, make a circle here and, oh, but here's the problem. I can't see the circle because it's at the center of the cylinder. So here's how to fix that. You can uh, close the sketch. I'm just gonna bring that up a little bit here like that. You can close the sketch. And what we can do is we can uh, essentially uh, make this transparent so that we can see what's inside. The way you do that is by going to view appearance, and then just uh, increasing the transparency, like so. So I'm gonna put it, let's say at uh, 90% or something like that. All right, so we close this off, and now we can see the circle that I made. So let's go back to the sketch here. So what I wanna do is uh, make this the circle about, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, 40 millimeters in diameter, so 40 millimeters and I want to put it at the center of um, the uh, cylinder. So um, 
I know that uh, the cylinder is 80 millimeters uh, high, so I'm going to make it uh, 40 millimeters. So let's just make it 40 millimeters. And then I am going to make it right at the center. So I'm going to make the horizontal uh, constraint uh, zero, uh, basically. Right now, um, that circle is right at the center, and we can close the sketch. However, what happens is that it is right in the middle of the um, geometry. So we have to go to the sketch, and we have to bring it to the outside so we can make the hole go through the, um, the model. So the way you do that is by going to uh, Attachment, Position, and then the Z option here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it 40 millimeters so that it will be right on the edge of the cylinder. So 40 millimeters. And now it is right on the edge. So at this point, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to Pocket, and you make a pocket through the cylinder. You go to uh, Dimension and Through All, and now we have a hole through the cylinder. So that's the first hole. Now we're going to put a hole on the other side of the cylinder so that the two holes intersect with one another. So again, what we need to do is create a new sketch. And this time, we're going to make the sketch on the x, y uh, plane, like so. Right, there we go. And we just uh, make the sketch right here at the center, like so. And uh, we're going to constrain it uh, 40 millimeters in diameter, 40 millimeters. And we're going to make it 40 millimeters tall, 40. And then uh, in, horizontally, we're going to make it uh, 0, like so. And now we have a fully constrained sketch. And we're going to bring it forward. So same idea. We're just going to move it 40 millimeters, like so. And now all we need to do is make a pocket and through all. And now we have uh, two holes on a curved surface that intersect. The last thing we need to do is go back to view and appearance and make the model opaque again, like so. And now we have two holes that intersect on a curved surface. So basically, that's how easy it is to make a hole on a curved surface. If you found this helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. It really helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and uh, it improves my channel. And I would really like to uh, have my channel grow a little faster than it's growing. So if you don't mind, smash that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me and uh, I would really appreciate it. So until next time, have fun creating stuff, making stuff, designing stuff in FreeCAD, printing stuff out on your 3D printer. And um, I hope to see you soon in a new video. Bye for now.